Hello, so Ricky here. I played the beta of season 8 at 2am with Bing. Please follow him, his channel is in the description. Um, today I'm not going to tell you about the season 8 additions because plenty of others have known it before. Uh, on the other hand, I am quite legitimate to tell you about the compatibility in between the season and the competition, and I am curious to see your opinions in the comments. So I won't go into the cosmetic changes and others that are trivial to me since I'm only interested in tournaments. Take into account that my opinion is based on the use of items in tournaments and not during classic games. So welcome everyone to this video, will season 8 change the meta? Well, let's talk about the zip lines first. In the ID, you can use them to escape from a fight, it's nice. But in reality, the time you deploy this and the time you take to move will be short. If you are chased by someone, you will have to jump to go faster. Because the zipline will very rarely be able to get you out of complicated tournament situations. It can even become a trap if someone is waiting for you at the zipline exit, as it happened to me. In addition, the zipline takes the place of smokes, grenades and bananas, which are very important items because they all allow you very interesting things in tournaments. So, as a conclusion, you lose an interesting item for an item that will turn against you most of the time because you will be too slow or even trapped. Now to the weapon, it will be debated because your opinions will all be mixed. The weapon has a very high DPS, which makes us think that the weapon is not balanced. In addition, it does good damage, at close range 25, but beware, all is not beautiful with this weapon. There is a slight delay before firing, so you won't be able to fire instantly like with a Thompson or an USP. What will question us about its use in competition? As you know, in tournaments, games are played in microseconds. Everything goes extremely fast, and if you don't jump against pros and you stupidly spam with an AK-47, you end up dead easily. And again, with the AK at least you can shoot, jump and withdraw because there is no delay. With the super hit laser, you won't be able to do that. So I think this weapon will be meta in a squad or a trio, or even a duo mode, but in solo, everything goes too fast for the weapon to find its place. In any case, I advise you to play it with a weapon that fires instantly, and a weapon that does not slow you down. So, playing a weapon with a delay and a BCG or a sniper is not a very good idea in my opinion. So it would be better to favor a magnum or a bow. Now that we are done with the weapon and zipline issue, I'll have to let you guys talk about it in the comments. What are the places of these additions in the competitive mode of Super Animal Raya? I'm curious to see how competitive play will go with these additions. But um, I'm willing to bet I'm right about my view of the gun and its tournament development. Guns that look strong but aren't optimized for tournament play against the best players in the world. So thanks you for watching this video, share, like, give your opinion in comments, it's very important, and have a very good day.